Good afternoon, everybody. This is Mikkelin again. I am going to walk you through everything you need to do this week. Just in case I went too fast during class today. When you log in to Blackboard, this is the page that will come up once you have clicked on your class or this class. There are no new announcements. So the first place you want to go is week one. As stated in class, week one will start with objectives and assignments for the week. Your first assignment is your student bio. You will scroll down to student bio and you will click on student bio. As you can see, you cannot see any threads until you create your own thread. For this assignment, you are going to introduce yourself and you may or may not include a picture to personalize your profile. Once you finish, Submitting your bio, read the bios of your fellow classmates and greet at least two of them by replying to their posts. Your responses should be a minimum of 50 words. It might be a good idea to respond to people who are not in your group. First thing I am going to do is create a thread. For subjects, you will enter your first and last name. I will put test student. That's my first and last name. Haha. <laughs> then you are going to write your bio. Once you have finished writing your bio, scroll all the way down to click Submit. If you've written your bio on a Word document on your computer, the easiest place to save it is on your desktop. Click on Browse My Computer and attach the file that way. Otherwise, click Submit. Once you submit, you will be able to see everybody else's threads. I have submitted my bio, so now I am going to respond to Jamie's bio. So I'm going to click on her bio, and I'm going to read her bio. Now that I have read her bio, I am going to reply. You will obviously write 50 words or more. I am just doing this as a example.
And there is my response. Once you finish responding, there is an OK button at the bottom. Click on it. And it takes you back to everybody else's bios. Once you are finished, go back to week one, scroll down to the next assignment, which is your chapters one through three discussion questions. As you see, I've clicked on it. The easiest way to answer these questions is to highlight Press the control button, which is CTRL. Press the C button, and you have copied it. Or you can right click and click on copy. It and also tells you control plus C. So, in other words, you're pressing the control button and the C button at the same time to copy what is highlighted. Scroll down. Remember, any time you are doing a assignment that's not a discussion, you are going to click on Write Submission. Then you will click inside the box. You can right click and do paste. It doesn't work for me, but if it does work for you great if it does not press the control button plus the V is in Victor button and the questions have now appeared I grab this little corner right here to pull it down so that I can see the questions better now you can answer the questions inside the box I suggest using a different color, say blue, for your answers so you don't get mixed up. For example, what are some of the expressions of attitudes toward death? I can spell, I really can. There's my response. You will do that for every question. Hmm. I just noticed that it copy it pasted chapter one twice. Let's see. Make sure it, it does chapter one through three. There it is, there's chapter two. Okay, and chapter three. Okay, so what it did was it pasted everything more than once because I clicked on control C and then control V. There we go. So to let me go back and say this, instead of clicking, right clicking and clicking copy and right clicking and clicking paste, do the shortcuts that I told you. That way it won't post as many of the same questions like it just did. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. If not, I can go back through it again which is okay so I deleted everything right 
Okay. So I'm going to go up here. Chapter 1. To highlight, for those of you who do not know, you click on the spot that you want to highlight, and while you're holding that button down, scroll to where you want to stop. Then when you get to where you want to stop, just let go. Now that it's highlighted, remember, press Control c as in cat. Click in the box, press Control v as in Victor. And there, all of the questions should be there without being repeated. Good. And then you will submit. I'm not going to submit because I don't need this to show up. <laughs> Next is the 200 or word or more response of your own thoughts on death and dying and then your response to at least three other students. So we're going to scroll down to death and dying perception. I clicked on it. As you can see, I can't see anybody else's threads. I'm going to write a 200 word or more paper or response, whatever you want to call it, on my own thoughts on death and dying. Put my name in the subject. I have my my description or directions up here. I can read it if I need to. That is my perception. You will write more. I wrote 57 words, but you're going to write 200 or more. Then I will submit. So far, I am the only one who has posted. So if this was somebody else to respond, I will click on my name. and then click reply and then when you're finished replying click OK then go back to week one scroll down to the next one interview click on interview for this assignment, you are going to interview a family member or a friend and ask them what plans have they made in preparation for their death. Then you can write your submission. There are two ways you can answer this question. For those of you who are tech savvy, I will show you your way second. For those of you who are not and would rather just write, this is all you have to do. We clicked on write submission so now the box is open. 